Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yes. I'm Charlie. Yeah. I'm Sam. <laughs> and I'm Andre. And we're the CPU team. At the University of York. Yes. <laughs> Who are kindly donating all of their equipment to us, which will probably then wreck. So yeah. Sure. <laughs> okay, so we have started a project, and the idea is to build a CPU from scratch using logic gates and breadboard and much wire. We are building a full fledged CPU, and then we are going to make it uh, play Pong. Or maybe not play Pong. <laughs> or we'll see when we get in there because that's not coming next week. <laughs> no. Uh, for now, we're working on an ALU, so we can actually do some maths hopefully at some point, which might be useful for any CPU. <laughs> so we spent quite a bit of time over the last weekend, basically a whole day. Um, mostly debugging. Yeah, mostly debugging. So we spent some time setting up some data storage, so we've got uh, two 74574 chips, yes. uh, which store 8 bits. And then we've got some 8-bit input switches, which we can then you then use to set some data onto those. And then for debugging, because we weren't really sure what we were doing at all, <laughs> we decided we'd build an LED display unit, which caused more problems than it was worth. Because at least that bit's going to be staying, whereas the other half of our circuit with the switches is temporary until we have to get a CPU wired up to it. <laughs> so if we sort of show you what we've done so far with the boards now. Right, so here we have our wonderful circuit. So we have our registers here and we can set the values here. So we turn it on. So we have the wonderful initialization state of minus 128 on both registers. We've no idea why. <laughs> we can now give it a clock cycle. You can see it's picked up the values from the switches. And that's those st st yeah, stored in the register and displayed here. Yep, so we've got our switches where you actually set the logical ones or zeros, which are sent over our data wires through a pull down resistor. Um. <laughs> it's to make sure that these pins here aren't floating, which is the problem we had before, and that they went high regardless, and LEDs always powered on. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, then, so then they go through our 8 bit flip flop chips, um, 74574s, I think. Yes. Uh, so we've got 8 inputs on this side, and when you clock it by pushing this switch here, the outputs are updated with whatever's on the input. Um, these chips are grounded, uh, they've got, and they are supplied with a, their own voltage supply. Um, and then the output data is sent up here to a display bank uh, via these green wires. We're not making this up, we can actually change these values. See? <laughs> uh, and we, we can also do a more dramatic demonstration like switching all of these on here <laughs> and this one here. So this lot will all turn red now, apart from these two, because the LED bank is unfortunately a bank of 10 and we're only using 8 bits, so I'll clock it now. Uh oh. And as uh -oh. we see, this doesn't work, so we've probably got a connection loose somewhere. No, it's that the one resistor. Didn't feel it's like the it resistor. In. There's one. Oh, loose. yes, yeah, we're missing this a resistor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, so we pulled that one out because we were going to. Later improvements, we're going to lose this entire board and put a uh, resistor after the LEDs instead, so we do it in one, <laughs> yeah. saving a lot of wire. So next time we see this, hopefully it will be a lot tidier. And look like we've gone backwards. And we've also started work on the adder board, the so we can perform an add operation with our two eight bit integers. Uh, we, I think it's, uh, I think we should mention the fact that we haven't, we are first years and we haven't done this before, uh, so we're just learning as we go. We, uh, our uh, teacher helps us a lot, and uh, we're probably, we're probably gonna do a lot, do a lot of uh, mistakes. And mm. stupidities. And if you're watching this, please don't judge us. Please don't. <laughs> Especially with electronics. Don't judge us on electronics, please. Yeah. <laughs> we know we know that whatever we do, there's probably a way of doing it in half the chips. But for now, you yeah, know, we're happy to be learning and to have something that works. Oh, also, if you have any suggestions and anything you would like to add to our design, please feel free to keep them to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> You can comment, probably, if this is going on YouTube, which I think it is. So comment in that bit and someone will notice and we will reply. Maybe. <laughs>